State lawmakers briefly legalized Uber and Lyft in the city this past July due to high volume traffic from the Democratic National Convention. That deal expired October 1st. Uber successfully appealed a cease and desist order and is now operating in the city without any type of legislation. And Lyft is following its lead. Uber released a statement saying, quote, If Harrisburg does not act in the next two weeks, hundreds of thousands of Pennsylvanians could again lose access to affordable transportation and meaningful income opportunities. Published reports say that the parking authority still intends to enforce the rideshare ban. But the PPA did not respond to our request for a statement. Despite the risks, Uber driver Nassim Sasso isn't phased. I'm not necessarily afraid of getting caught because, um, you know, it's, I think it's going to be pretty difficult for, you know, somebody to just see me and say, hey, you're driving Lyft or you're driving Uber, like, you know, pulled over right now. But driver Ronald Simmons doesn't feel the same way. You know, there was these stipulations, you, you could be fined up to $1,000. I'm like, I don't know if I can take that chance. Unlike drivers, users of ride-sharing services don't face any legal penalties, which is good news for the many Temple students who use Uber and Lyft. It's way more convenient. It comes to where you want to be at, and they'll come pick you up and stuff. It's nice. The first time I took an Uber was down to uh, Chester for a soccer game, and it was like real convenient, real cheap and everything. And like, as a college student, that's probably the easiest way to get around if you're going somewhere off campus. Lawmakers in Harrisburg have committed to passing permanent rideshare legislation within the next week. We look forward to keeping you updated in the coming days. For Temple Update, I'm Brian Ziff.